Old money wealth, often passed down through generations, has long been associated with power and prestige. While men have traditionally held the reins, it's important to recognize the significant role women have played in maintaining and expanding these fortunes. Welcome to Women of Wealth and Luxury, where we explore the fascinating world of wealth and heritage while shedding light on the unsung heroines who shape the course of history behind opulent doors. Consuelo Vanderbilt was born on March 2nd, 1877, into one of the wealthiest families in America during the Gilded Age, the Vanderbilt family. Her father, William Vanderbilt, a prominent railroad magnate, and her mother, Alva, ensured that Consuelo's life was steeped in privilege and extravagance. However, Consuelo's life was far from idyllic. In 1895, at just 18 years old, Consuelo was thrust into an arranged marriage with Charles Spencer Churchill, the ninth Duke of Marlborough. The union was orchestrated by Consuelo's ambitious mother, Alva, who was determined to ascend the social ladder and attain a title for her daughter. Consuelo's marriage to the Duke was not based on love, but rather on securing financial stability and maintaining the family's place in British high society. The union faced numerous challenges and eventually ended in divorce in 1921, but not before Consuelo had a significant impact on Blenheim Palace. Her American fortune injected much needed funds into the estate, allowing for essential renovations and restorations. Consuelo's impeccable style and taste for elegance influenced the redesign and redecoration of many rooms within the palace. She brought a touch of American style to the traditional English setting, merging both cultures harmoniously. In the 1890s, women's fashion underwent a remarkable transformation, reflecting the changing societal norms and a departure from the restrictive attire of previous decades. The hourglass silhouette remained popular, accentuating a tiny waist and full bust achieved through corsets and boned bodices. However, the emphasis is shifted towards more natural lines, and the hourglass shape became subtler. High-necked and puff-sleeved blouses paired with long, sweeping skirts were typical, creating an elegant and modest look. Fabrics like silk, satin, and velvet were favored for formal occasions, while tailored suits and shirtwaists gained popularity for more practical daily wear. After the divorce, Consuelo went on to marry Jacques Basson, a French aviator and socialite. In this marriage, she found the affection and respect that had been missing from her previous union. With Balsan, Consuelo was finally able to experience the love and companionship she yearned for throughout her tumultuous earlier years. Although today's video is a brief synopsis of Consuelo's life, her life serves as a profound reminder of the power of resilience, determination, and the pursuit of personal happiness. She helped shape the posterity of her family's noble name, thrusting it into American and British nobility. Would you have done the same for your family heritage? Leave a comment below. Thank you for joining us on this journey through history. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more thought-provoking content. Feel free to share your thoughts and suggestions in the comments below. Until we meet again, continue exploring, continue learning, and may the lessons from Consuelo Vanderbilt's life inspire you in your own pursuits. Take care.